Hi, welcome to Rock Talk, Round Rock ISD's weekly roundtable discussion show where we talk about topics for parents to keep you informed. And today we're going to talk about career and technical student organizations with two of our outstanding professionals from our CTE program, Ms. Peggy Mitcha and the director of CTE, Sherry Bonds. Thanks for joining us on Rock Talk. Thanks for having us, Corey. You. So um, first, can we start off by just talking about what is a career and technical student organization? Jerry, you want to go ahead and take that one? Absolutely. So career and technical student organizations, or CTSOs, as they're commonly called, are organizations that are directly ranked, linked to the curriculum that they pertain to. And so depending on the student and what cluster that they're in, they have an opportunity to join a CTSO that directly relates. And so they take that learning that they're doing inside of their classroom and apply it outside. So it's an extracurricular club, but really with a co-curricular slant. And Peggy, what are, what are the advantages of having these CTSOs in alignment with the academies and the things that we have going on in the learning in our high schools? One of the big advantages is, is again, that curricular piece that Sherry mentioned because it helps kids see the connection. So while they're learning some of these things in the classroom, then when they go to their different club events or their conventions or their competitions, they're applying some of the things they learned in their classrooms. So Peggy, when we talk about the CTSO organizations, these groups that students run, um, what are some of the eligibility requirements for a student to get involved in these outside organizations that go beyond the classroom instruction? So it depends on the clubs. For some of them, anybody can join if they have an interest. For some of our clubs, um, students have to be enrolled in those particular classes. FFA is a good example. Students have to be enrolled in an agriculture class in order to be eligible to join the club. Um, but other than that, the only other eligibility issue is um, the same as other UIL events in that students have to be passing all of their classes in order to be able to compete. So oftentimes students have to be academically active in the aligned curriculum or the aligned coursework that, uh, that goes with the club and then also for competitions they have to be academically eligible just like um, in choir or band or in athletics. Absolutely, that's correct. Um, Sherry, are there costs? Oftentimes parents, when, when things are going above and beyond the classroom, uh, a lot of the concern is with costs and extra things that parents have to um, be cognizant of. Um, are there costs to any of these and, and how does the district work or the schools work with kids? Sure, I'm happy to answer that question. So each club sets their own fee schedule and so part of that goes to pay for local dues for that chapter at the, at the high school level but then also to pay district, state, national dues. You know if you want to join DECA you're going to become a member of the National DECA organization or any other organization that you might select. So the local chapters set their dues to cover those expenses. Of course they'll work with any student that might have a hard hardship or might need some assistance in having to make that work. What, what's a good resource for parents and students where they can either um, seek an individual out at a high school campus or a, a specific resource, maybe a website? So our district CTE website off of the roundrockisd.org site actually lists the approved CTSOs by the state on our site. From there, you can link to our high school pages and find the clubs listed on each high school. Um, our CTE Academy specialists can also be a very good resource at each high school. By contacting them, a parent can ask what CTSOs are involved and who the advisors might be. And Peggy, what's one last thing that you think that you would like to share with parents in terms of CTSOs? If, if, if parents hesitate at all, I would, I would ask them to call one of us um, or even talk to some of their kids' friends that are involved, and, and I think they would quickly realize what a wonderful opportunity this is for, for our kids. Uh, I was involved in it as a teacher, and, but also as a student many years ago, and it's one of my favorite memories from high school. And again, I learned a great deal that, that helped me even today in, in my professional career. Jerry, one last thought? Absolutely. I too was an advisor for one of our CTSOs here in the district for many years. Um, the opportunity for leadership that the kids get I think is above and beyond the, the best resource. You know they have the opportunity to win scholarships and, and different things but building that leadership capacity within each individual student they can get in, as involved in a club as they want or just, just be involved to feel that camaraderie but you know it's linked to the curriculum but at the same time it goes so above and beyond what the actual curricular piece is and it's, it's building that leadership within our kids so I would just tell parents to support your child you know help them out understand why joining a club whatever it is that they choose to get involved with but why a club can do so much for them beyond high school I think just that's the the biggest takeaway from today well thank you so much for both for joining us thank you thanks Corey